it's Rebecca from Rebecca Inspires here, and it's another episode of Advice Column Thursdays. And today I decided to talk to you guys about the 10 studying tips for a final. The reason why I decided to tell you guys about the 10 best tips I found is because of the fact that I know finals are coming up for some people or they're already here, and everyone wants at least a little bit of help with tips on how to study best, to be able to ace the test best. And I decided to do something a little different today instead of normally talking to you guys in front of your webcam and giving you advice. I decided to invite my friend Stevie to be able to tell you the top 10 best studying tips for finals. I hope you guys like it and please pay attention to Stevie even though she might seem eccentric to you guys or a bit weird or not the most attractive. She has some really good advice. So, I hope you guys like it and enjoy. My name is Stevie. My mom says I'm a genius. Really, I believe I'm a genius too. I'm in sixth grade and I'm at 10. Isn't that remarkable? Today I'm doing top 10 best studying tips for finals. Tip number one. Flashcards, relatable to the sub with pictures relatable to the subject you are learning, such as this, or this, or this. Yay! Tip number two. Have others quiz you. Hey, Sarah, can you please quiz me? Sure, Stevie, I'd love to be able to help you study. Okay. Here's the question. True or false? A synonym is plural for a noun. The answer is false. Good job. That's the right answer. See? Just like that. Tip number three. Recite what you have learned in class before auditorily to yourself so that your ear can pick it up and not just your eyes. This way, you know that your brain is taking in both senses of sight and sound such as a squared plus b squared equals c squared. It's Pythagorean theorem. See? I get it now. Because I recited it not just by my eyes, but verbally too. Pick number four. Make sure to color code your notes so that you can understand it better. See? I color coded a squared and b squared to be black so that it's different, and the plus and the equal sign to be orange, so that I understand it better. And C squared, I colored it to be blue, so that I knew that that was the answer. Then I colored the definition in different colors, so that I can understand it. It's as simple as that. See? Tip number six. This tip helps me a lot when I'm really tired and almost falling asleep. Read the book. Read the book you're trying to read, or notes, upside down. This way, it makes your mind think harder, and you, you actually try and pay attention. See? Many theories of motivation focus on inborn biological processes that control behavior. Among these biologically oriented theories are instinct, drive, reduction and arousal theories. See? It's as simple as that. You understand it better, your mind gets it better, and you can pay attention because you're actually trying. Tip number seven. Reward yourself with a treat every so often. So, whenever you're really, whenever you're really tired and you've done a lot of the work and you've finish your accomplishment of half the work, you can take a break. Such as this dog here. I can take him on a walk or play fetch with him. He's my favorite little dog. <laughs> yeah. Tip number eight. Listen to calming inspirational study music. This helps me a lot when I'm having trouble focusing or getting nervous about a test. 
I just study with that and it helps me so much. Okay, as you guys can see, that was Stevie. You can tell she's a bit eccentric and she's really intelligent, but she doesn't have the best common sense. And that doesn't matter because she still holds able to ace her tests and stuff through studying. So that was her best tips and I hope you liked it and I hope to see you guys again next Thursday and I'm doing Vlogmas so that's a plus for you guys and I know that my videos are coming up randomly throughout the time instead of just at one specific time every single day but that's because of the fact that I'm studying for finals and so this week is a bit hectic from today until next Thursday I'll have my schedule that's a bit off so I'll be posting whenever I can so, I hope you guys liked the video, and thanks. Don't forget to go out there and live your life.